you guys got things clicking a little bit in the second half there. Your thoughts on that and how the team's responded this week? Well, you know, but it's too late. Listen, we, we are who we are right now. We, we're not a very good football team. I'm going to say it up front. I'm the offense coordinator, and we got to score points early, which would help our defense. And uh, it's frustrating. I mean, we have exactly what we have there one on that second series. Great drive, 16-play drive, um, which is one of our most consistent drives we had all year. But we got to finish the deal. We got had a chance down there to do that, and we didn't get it done. Um, and then, you know, we went into a little bit of a lull, but – we got we got to you know start fast. We got to play better early, um, but I do like the way we finished. I like the way Blake came in and played. Um, he you know again we we um, we made some plays, and that's what we got to start doing. Just make plays on the perimeter and, and uh, continue to improve our run game. Uh, Kerwin has Blake been able to practice? What's his status? No, Blake hadn't. Um, Jordan has. He's been out there practicing, but um, yeah, Blake's got that high ankle sprain, so he um, we're taking it slow with him, making sure that he can um, get as healthy as possible on Saturday. Uh, he's getting all the mental work and all that, but um, you know we're hoping to have him available also on Saturday. Would, would Quez be your emergency QB, for lack of a better term? Well, he, Quez will get some some plays, you know, but but Kirk is a guy we we have a lot of confidence in. The kid kids can really throw it. He can spin it. He's got great feel for the game. Uh, so he he'll, he'll be he's back off his injury. Uh, he's able to move around now, so we feel comfortable about him going in also as a, a guy available for us. What are some of the weak links that you see in UConn's defense. Well, listen, they, they, um, there ain't nobody weak link for us, let me tell you. They, <laughs> right now, that's the frustrating part. We, we got to go play a good football game. They are, they are a team that's played some good teams at home well. I mean, Lord, they played you know, Illinois really tough, and, and um, they fly around. You know, we got to be able to run the football. They're on the road. We got to we got to start coming off the football, and when we have numbers, we got to be able to run the football with numbers. I thought, you know, the first part of that game, we, were, we had 13 rushes and 15 passes. So we had a good balance, but we're not getting anything explosive. I mean, 16 plays to go about 70 yards. I mean, this we got to start creating some explosive plays. Listen, this system's a pro spread system, so that's the great thing about this thing is that we're struggling, but we can we can vary in different directions. Uh, you know, we can go in this direction if we want to, if we're, or we can maybe now change and go in this direction. I mean, that's what we're looking at. Listen, I don't believe in staying the same. I'm as frustrated as everybody out there, um, fans and everybody. Um, we got to figure out what direction we can go in and just make this thing happen this year um, with, the, with the personnel we have. Um, so, you know, if it's more spread, more up tempo, um, we got to look at that. If it's more pro style, we got to look at that. That's the great thing about system. It's got a lot of variations, and now we got to figure out, and that's what we're doing the last couple of weeks. What are we good at? What can we get to, to where we can go be competitive? And hopefully, I think we've hit some, a few things. We're getting better at a couple of things, and hopefully, that'll show up here on the road. How encouraging was it just to, how encouraging has it been to see Bryce Miller be able to take his promise over into a game? Well, he's a he's a hard nosed football player, just a good football player. Mm -hmm. uh, not the biggest, not the fastest, but man, he gets open, he plays hard. He's gonna start at Y for us. We, we're changing some people around. Okay. It's another thing. Not only are you looking at your schemes and stuff and and, and what direction you want to go in that um, to help your players, but shoot, if they ain't producing, you gotta go play players. But we're not gonna sit around and continue to, to, to be the way we are. It's the most frustrating, the worst th the four games I've ever been through as an offense coordinator. So we got to find, you know, it's on us coaches, but it's also on the players. And I tell them that, you know, when we look at film and we have the availability to make a play and it's not there um, a bunch of times, we got to look at everybody. And so we're going to change around not only up front, we're, we're challenging people, we're also challenging some receivers because um, we got to go make some more explosive plays than what we're doing. Could there be changes elsewhere besides receiver, possibly? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, all over the board, we're looking. You know, we, we've changed the quarterback position, but we also, we've done that with with, with, um, with Jordan back a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be changes at receiver. There'll be some changes up front that we're gonna see um, after this week, the competition, after it takes hold and see who, who's ready to go play. We gotta, we gotta do something. We ain't gonna stand around and just continue to play like this. This is not the way you play at this level. And, you know, yeah, there's some things we'd like to have different uh, personnel, maybe. But we got to, we got to, as a coach, what you got to do is fit that personnel. And the great thing about this system is so varied. We can't just, we don't have to stay with just eight little plays. We can vary to a, more of a spread or more to a pro style attack. And so we're trying to fit it to to make sure that we can do what we can do this year to be successful and and be more be more pr productive. And especially early on in the games, we got to do that. We got to start fast and. and Help our defense by getting points on the board early.
a couple of guys that made plays, Mathis and, and Wilcox, last week. I mean, how encouraging was to see the tight end position kind of? Well, that's something, you know, this system makes it available is to be able to attack the area of the field with those tight ends and get those mismatches. And, you know, we, um, you know, we like them play a little bit even better. There are some opportunities we had early where we had exactly what we want, you know, and we didn't get the, the, the kind of route that we wanted out of them, um, the precise route that would have got him wide open, you know. So little things, but, man, we're, 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 we're happy to see Jacob coming on. Um, um, Fred, another tight end, we're going to play him some. He can flat out get open. we got to find some guys. we got to start experimenting and get some guys on the field. Like I say, we ain't going to stand pat, but, um, yeah, Mitch is really playing hard. He's playing, you know, he, he gives us a really good um, uh, weapon across the middle of the field. Coach, you talk about how it took a little while at Mel Boston State for everybody to pick up the offense. Where you guys are at right now, are you frustrated with the progress, or just kind of it's just a work in progress and it's different for each place? Yeah, you know, listen, I don't think it's the no more. We let's quit talking about they're not picked it up, man. We had two busts, two plays where we didn't run. One was a back all on me, um, but two two or three plays that we didn't run the route. Now, did we run it the way we want it, Zach? They knew what to do, but now were they? where they run the precise so they can get wide open instead of being where a guy's running in their back pocket and we throw a pick, you know, because it's not wide open. Those things is what we got, the little details, you know, and they do it in practice, but then they get in the game and they get excited and they just run the route, you know, the way they may have done it in the past, which is sort of run to grass. We more are precise with our run to stack people and, and we say freak, freak the heck out of the DBs to get open. So those little things are something that's just continue to try to grasp, especially in game situations. But um, no, we're uh, getting past the, the. We have made this game plan really simple. Uh, the last couple of weeks, like I say, I'm starting to see, and I said this last week, I'm starting to see us play faster. When the play's called, you don't see guys thinking they're running their spots. They know exactly what they got to do. We just got to be better at it. And when the ball's in the air, or we're on, we're running the football. We got to make plays, and uh, we got to block better. That's the bottom line. And and um, and so um, you know, the great thing when you show them film, you say, man, look at all the spots we miss opportunities. I mean, we missed some wide open touchdowns the other day that we could. If you went back and looked at the film. So that's the, that's the fun part. The other part is, listen, what else can I do as office coordinator to get, get the best out of our talent? Is it to go more in this direction or more? And the great thing about this system, we can do that because it's so versatile. And so we're, we're continuing to work at that. And um, I think you'll see a little bit of that this week. A bit off topic here, but obviously um, I'm sure you've heard the news out of California with regards to um, the bill allowing players to potentially sign endorsement deals. You've been on both sides of the coin. What are your thoughts on that? Well, listen, I'm an I'm I'm old school guy. You know, I believe an a, a athlete is, is, he gets a lot. Now, he, he, he works his butt off and he has got unbelievable ability. Um, but listen, he gets a full ride. Uh, he gets other, he gets more than that. A lot of times when you go cost of living, you know, and he gets money here at the university. Uh, but listen, I'm all about athletes and, and uh, them guys. If everybody's on the same playing field, if everybody can afford that, you got to look at those things. Can can all the universities afford to do those things? Um, and and will it be a level playing field if some do and some don't? You know. So, but listen, I don't. I think we're going in the wrong direction if it turns into a, a pay pay me top situation um, here at this level. This is this is one of the greatest sports in the history of mankind. Is college football? Just the the way people the people buy into it because these kids are here on a college education. They're student athletes. That's the great thing about it. And they go out and perform in front of thousands, thousands of people. And people love that, and people buy into that, and we don't need to, to mess that up. Good stuff.